Unofficial numbers are in today, and just about 18% of voters went to the polls for the election yesterday. But that wasn't the case in Ozaki County. There was a 36% voter turnout there, and those voters approved a $49 million school referendum. Jonah Kaplan reports on where that money will go. Port Washington High School was built in 1931, before World War II. The last renovation, Vietnam. District officials urged voters for a major update. What would have happened if it didn't pass? We did not have a plan B because we felt this was the best plan that we could come up with based on the survey that we had sent out uh, several months before. The now approved $49 million bond will remodel the current high school and then add additions that will double its size. New classrooms, new labs, new locker rooms, and everything in between. It's excitement, but it's appreciation more than anything else. Appreciation for the great communities that we serve and, and the support that we, that we got from all the citizens. Besides those voters who voted no on the ballot, there is another group of people who not too thrilled about this makeover. Not because they don't support it, but the current students, they won't be around to see what happens next. The superintendent estimates construction will take up to four years. I'm very jealous. <laughs> really, I, w I wish I could see what it would look like. When I was in the high school, I just, you know, had this. You guys have more, better stuff now, so it's like, come on. All these improvements, they do come with a price. With that $49 million bond issue passed, everyone with a home of at least $100,000 will pay an extra $200 or so per year in property taxes. In Port Washington, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Jonah. Though the high school will use most of the money for its overhaul, some of that cash will also pay to expand one of the elementary schools in Port Washington, helping to reduce overcrowding there.